Hello, I'm Victor LaRuccia of the San Diego Italian Film Festival. I'm here to take a quick look at the art of Italian cinema through the opening sequence of the film Le Confessioni by Roberto Ando, the writer and director. This is a story of intrigue at a meeting of the rich and powerful, where a monk becomes the focus of an investigation into secrets and conspiracies. How this story is told is critical to understanding it. It's a simple story. Representatives of major economies gather at a German resort to decide on the world's economic development. The monk is not meant to take part in the most serious talks, but he does become the focus of all attention. The movie revolves around efforts to learn what secrets the monk knows, even as he's bound by the silence of the confessional. We begin with the arrival of a group of Muslim women, covered head to toe. Revealed, wandering behind the group, is a character dressed in similar fashion, but in a brilliant contrast of white against the darker colors of the women. Distinctive, and yet at the same time, unknowable. Next, we see the monk in multiple reflections with a sound recorder. Quan nel cielo nan giulilla non fa che la cadda fa. O signore tinta na cella scura scura o fa zerra. Testing it with a Neapolitan saying about bad angels seems portentous, but the shots with the recorder only pose more questions. How does sound fit in with a vow of silence? How does the monk perceive reality? The first hint comes from the next series of shots. Exiting the building and discovering a strange figure hovering in midair in the walkway. A strange vision, yet the monk turns to gaze at the faces of two girls next to him. Our curiosity is not satisfied. Father? As the monk enters the car, we feel a growing sense of who is watching this action. The car travels in a verdant countryside, and we move to an overhead view. The car, traveling up the screen toward heaven, is often obscured by trees, but we know it's there. While we reach a God's eye point of view at the end of this opening sequence, it is only the major change in scale that makes us forget the specific questions already posed for us, and replaces those questions with the symbol of the world's wealthy leaders, who may not be at all concerned with the issues of daily life, its ambiguities, or the well-being of humanity in general. Ando's art is a misdirection itself, indicating that we should pay less attention to the official story and more attention to character, relationship, and the subtle interplay of scale, color, and expression. The opening gives us Ando's art, an art of suggestion, ambiguity, Revelations that promise clarity and yet add only mystery. The San Diego Italian Film Festival invites you to come and see this movie and other really amazing examples of the art of Italian cinema. <laughs>